Yer, que lo que, que lo que was good. Organic Fanatics, welcome back at it. This is just a little quick recap. We're going to do the official recap Friday uh, with the squad, New Knicks and Machetazo. Just had to get my thoughts real quick. Great game yesterday. It was an exciting game uh, from beginning to end against the Brooklyn Nets, as my brother New Knicks calls them, the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, it was a home game, even though it was an away game. You saw that. Uh, Brooklyn Arena, whatever they call it, or the Barclays Center. It was loaded with Nick fans. How you got Macau Bridges at the free throw line and getting booed at his whole... Anyway, long story. Um, nonetheless, it was a great game. You can still see, uh, even though we're missing Mitch Rob, we're missing iHeart, uh, you're seeing some of the sputtering and, and, and starting off slow or not having a great start to a game. Um, the great thing, and that I've been saying it all season, is that we're in games even though we're not playing the greatest even though we may start off slow even though we may have our issues and adjusting you know of course people aren't taking account we're missing starters and great players i heart and what they contribute mitch and what they mean to the team and how we started with them and then you got to make adjustments all the time so we've made constant adjustments throughout this entire year losing players and then the next man up mentality has been huge so you can see the depth of our team all that having a winning team overall, we're always in games. Even though we may be losing games or even games we've lost, we've always been in games or close enough, and whatever it is, we're unable to pull it off. But most of the time, you're always going to see the fight from the Knicks. Throughout the entire year, even in games we lost, we fought all the way. And that's not something you can say about our Knicks team from years past, but that's what I love about our Knicks, that we're always fighting to the end, good, bad, or indifferent. Whether we lose the game or not, some games are bad, some games are worse than others. Sometimes the team just goes on a really big run, but we've never got really blown out or dominated by a game. There's some that we lost, and usually from ourselves, shooting ourselves in the foot, playing just playing bad. That's the NBA, it happens, but nonetheless, it was a good game. It was an exciting game. I love the fact that you see Julius Randle in a zone. You can see the joy in him now. He looks like he's more happy, like he's a little playing a little more free. I don't know if the... And an OB trade's helping him. He's seeing that he's getting another good player that's going to free him up a little bit. He did spin and fumble. Uh, two shots is going to call that, which, you know, he still does that, but not as frequent. He almost had a triple-double again. So you can see it's really good that he's getting his points, rebounds, and assists are getting even higher. So having someone else that can actually score the ball, a uh, Chua in the paint that he can pass with, are actually going to finish the shots that he's passing to him is helping them out and that's uh spreading the defense so great game overall um i'm liking how julius randall played i was expecting a big game from him if you go to the last quick short video you see that i thought randall would have a big game games like this that he's dominating uh good to see precious coming through and salute jericho sims i thought he'd be the starter you know even though tips said he was liking uh how precious jewel was and if you heard the post conference from tips he did say gives familiarity to the team because they're used to it they're already going through a lot of changes losing mitch losing i heart down it would be another big change if you throw precious achua as a starting center so uh he tried to keep some familiarity which we said uh getting jericho sims in there keeps a, a system of comfortability for them even though he got, didn't get as many minutes but they got them going they start off a little slow uh salute jericho sims four blocks can he play defense yes he can is this is his body there is a presence? Yes, it is. So that lets people know if Jericho's going to get there, he's going to play defense. He's not just going to be there to just set screens. You know, he can catch lobs. You saw a little spin that he did in the paint. Uh, he got the rebound, faked the player, did a little spin and drop. So you can see his game. He, he has some game that's coming through. Um, so it's not just uh, just big and bouncy. So uh, he's, he's able to get uh, some offensive plays. He's able to set good screens. He's able to run and catch. So... Great job by him. You can see Precious Achua starting to come around too. Precious, uh, he attempted the three. He missed it, but you can see he's not scared to take it. He shot the three. He's able to get rebounds. Uh, Randall found him in the post with the pass. So that was good too. So that it, it, we're letting people know that we're a threat, whether either we're in the paint, outside the paint, that they can't just cheat. So that's what you got to start focusing going forward. That's what's freeing up Randall. That's what's making Randall uh, free that's what we've been looking for so before we try to get evan to space the floor and then rj rj's inconsistency couldn't space the floor and then now you have og who can space the floor he can defend he can do other things that basically mitch was doing so if you look he's 
playing like how Mitch is from a small forward position. So imagine him and Mitch together. It's going to be a crazy thing to see that we're stopping people this good and Mitch isn't even in the team yet. When they come together in the team, it's going to be pretty scary. And then you're going to have iHeart's improved uh, defense, his improved offense, and having that basically as a starter that we're even questioning taking out Mitch for him. Just even thinking about that, he's going to come off the bench. You pay him. That's basically an elite starter from, from the bench position. So all that to say, I'm liking our next team. I'm liking what we're doing. There's still adjustments. You're going to still see some tweaks and adjustments because people aren't there. Uh, but support your team, man. It's one of the best teams I think we've had in a really long time. Um, I don't really care as far as trade deadlines if you go after people. Uh, we'll talk about that later on. We have in the last episode, episode 22. So go see what you think about our thoughts of players who we think uh, Knicks might go after, who we don't think they're going to go after. We did a lot of covering on that on episode 22. So check that out. And if you're watching this, like, subscribe. Yo, we only have... Less than 250 subscribers. I know y'all watching. Yo, we got we even got our Knicks players watching our channel. Support, brother. We we love y'all. We get bring positivity. Like, subscribe, and comment, y'all. I'm chatting all the time with people in the chat. Whatever it is, whether you think we good, we bad, we trash, you like our comment, you don't. Salute to you guys. Salute to replay gang. Salute to live gang. Uh, we 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 mention y'all in the chat too. So if you're there. Whatever your comment is, whether we agree with it or not, we definitely talk about it. Appreciate you guys. Every Friday, 5 p.m., Sunday, 5 p.m. Uh, appreciate you guys for checking in, tuning us in. We're going Friday. We're going to talk about it. And then tomorrow's game. Actually, is it tonight's game? Tonight's game against Denver. I think it's tonight. Uh, I'll check. Well, I'm on my phone, so I can't look at my phone. But the game against Denver we got going up. So the fact that we played Brooklyn... We needed that energy to play well. We needed that win to go into against Denver. That's going to be a big game, one of the best teams in the West. It's going to be one of our most challenging games. I think that's why you saw that we were trying to get Jericho in rhythm because he's going to go up against Jokic. We're going to need Precious, Achua, and we're going to need Jericho Sims. And if you know our show, we always have long outro, so I forgot about Denver, so I'm bringing the other game in with our exit and whatever. Anyway, so all that to say that Denver's going to be a big game. Uh, they're a tall team, a big team. So we're going to need all of Jericho Sims. We're going to need all of Precious Achua. We're going to need Julius to play Monster Julius. We need the silver back to do his thing. Jalen Brunson's been firing on all cylinders, so we don't need to worry about him. He's been bringing the, the pace. Uh, we need Deuce from the bench. Josh Hart has been stepping up. We need all of Josh Hart, all his rebounds, all his hustle, all his driving. Uh, Dante DiVincenzo. So against Denver and then against Miami, we need to be everyone, an entire team, clicking on all cylinders. So we can't have slow starts like how we did against Brooklyn. We can't have any mental lapses. We got to be ready to go. So these next two games, which we'll be talking about Friday, uh, about this uh, Denver game in, in detail with my brothers, my cousin Machete, uh, we'll be talking in detail about this Denver game coming up. But it's a game that we cannot let slip. We got to be very aggressive with them and then just take it. And we play them tomorrow. Sorry, today's Wednesday. So we play them tomorrow. So we got a day off today to practice. But it's a, a big game. This is one of the winning teams. How we do against winning teams. This is going to be a challenge for us now. It's probably one of the best teams in the West. And then we got our rival, uh, the Miami Heat, which Johnny Harris should be on on Sunday. Uh, so I, that's a Miami fan there. So you guys have been seeing him in the chat. He's going to be on there. So give him some smack when you go to the show so he's gonna be on on our show sunday um so it's gonna be challenging so we got the heat coming up and then we also got denver so we need both those wins we need these wins at least to show we, we need a dog fight in these two games i i'm, I'm okay with the l not really against miami i'm okay with the l uh, against denver if we just go out swinging you know what i'm saying i don't mind getting dropped twice in the in the in the 12th round as long as he fell down too, you know. So as long as we're fighting, as long as everybody gave it their all, if they just the better team, I'm okay with that. But fight is what I'm looking for. That's all I've been asking for all year. That's what we've seen all year. But now is the time of the season where we need to start executing for 48 minutes. So even though we've had different players, different challenges, now is where we got to see execution for 48 minutes. We can't start lackadaisical. Julius is one of the best players uh, that, that starts off, so we need Julius to go 
Cam in the first quarter, and then everybody else trickled down. And then Obi second and third, Josh third, and then, you know, Brunson, Captain Clutch himself to do the damn thing. Uh, and BTW, if you saw the Brooklyn game, you saw what Macau Bridges can do. You can see why I was talking about getting him. And whether it's him or whoever, whether it's this year or next year, but he's one that ECF every year. He can lock down. He can shoot. He's working on his mid game. If you get him, OG, and Mitch, down goes Frazier. Anybody, anybody can get it. You know what I mean? So that's all I got for you guys. Little quick short video. Little just my takes until my brother and Machete go ham on Friday. Friday, 5 p.m. Sunday, 5 p.m. Friday, you ride home. You know what I'm saying? You're getting out of work. Put it up. Connect your Bluetooth to your car. Let it ride out. Don't watch it. Don't watch it. But listen to it, though. Watch, don't, don't watch us and drive. Want y'all safe. Listen to it. Put it on there. I know you want to chat. If you can't, if you're driving and you listen to us or you cleaning your house or whatever it is on Friday and Sunday, do what you're doing. But put a comment afterward. And like and subscribe. And hit the bell so you know when we come on. Little little videos like this, you get if you had the notification, you know you would it'll give you the reminder, yo, he's on right now. He's, he put a video. Alright? Peace. You're